Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. These are the most frequently asked questions in interviews and also these are the most useful code snippets to become a better developer. You would find yourself using these code snippets on a day-to-day -day basis as well. Today's question is how to check if a given number is an integer? Now this is more of a sanity check when you're writing your code. Let's say you're dealing with some tax calculation, phone number, age or such numerical value. It's always a good chance to check if the user entered the value is an integer or not. So you would use this snippet more often. Let's see the answer how to solve this. This is question number five of the JavaScript top 100 question and answer series. It's all covered in my ebook. Please do check out the ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com. The coding snippets will help you become better developer. Also, these coding snippets will definitely help you crack the front end developer interview job. All right, so today's question is how to check if a given number is an integer. To check if it's a to check if a given variable is integer, we'll make use of is nan method. This method can also be used to check if a variable is not an integer, right? So that's the flip side of it. The question can also be asked, if I give a value, how do you check whether it is an integer or not, right? So that's the approach. So let's see that in hands-on now by using the method is nan. So here we'll write script and then here we'll pass a value first. So let's take any value and say const check or say validate value equal to let's say 10.5 right so I have a variable I'm passing a number to it now we will just do say console or we'll make basically make use of is nan right not a number so here we'll pass the number so validate value and you can just console log for this for now or collect it into a variable okay so now this should give us whether that number is a num or the value is a number or not. So it's saying false. Okay. So now let's make it 10. Right. Is not a number. That means it is not a number. False. It is a number. Right. So even 10.5. These are all are numbers. So your condition should be not. So now it is true that if it is not a number, then it is true. Here it, we need the false. Now let's see with some string I'll say arc and it will say false because it is not a number which is true right so if I say if it is not a number this is true because it's a string right so the takeaway from this particular question is to check your knowledge whether you can do typecasting and can you validate whether if it's a number or not right I hope it's clear to you it's pretty stra straightforward and simple do check out my complete book and the code snippets available at arctutorials.gumroad.com. The ebook will really help you become a better developer. Do check it out. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in the next episode.